Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. If you're new here, please pause this video, click the subscribe button down below, and give this video a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more from me. And let's get right into it. Talk to you guys about today is the Estee Edit blush. It's the barest blush in the shade 01 First Love. This is just a very natural um, peachy pink shade, almost like a a peachy a peachy brown maybe. It's very neutral, very wearable. Um, I actually have it on today. I quickly fell in love with this and I will probably feature it in every makeup video I film until I'm out of it at this rate. So um, I actually found this as a makeup steal at TJ Maxx for $16.99. I'll list its actual retail price either up here or over here along with the next couple of products that I want to talk to you guys about are some of my favorite purchases I've made in the last few weeks. If you follow me on Instagram, here's your long-awaited ColourPop haul. I unfortunately, overly excitedly, opened the package and ruined it, so it's not a ColourPop unboxing, but more of a mini haul. I got a few things from them, including two of their Super Shock eyeshadow sets and a Super Shock highlighter. Um, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Super Shock highlighter. It is the shade Over the Moon. It's a pink to purple shift. And I easily will probably never take this off. Um, if you guys can see that, I hope. It's just literally the most beautiful highlighter I think I've come in contact with in the last few months. And the texture of this product, you guys, is something that I can't even like describe what it feels like. It is so soft and so smooth and extremely easy to blend. This will probably be a staple in my makeup collection. The next set of... Colourpop that I want to talk to you guys about is the Kathleen Lights and Colourpop collab. It's the Where the Night Is set, and that includes Weenie, Porter, Telepathy, and Midnight. I have Weenie on my eyes currently, and I'm obsessed with it. Well, like I said about the highlighter, you guys, the texture of these products is unreal. Um, the first one I'm going to be showing you guys is Porter. Alright, so this is the color that it is. It's like a dark burgundy. But I'm not kidding, you guys. Like, the pigmentation of these is insane. Okay, so that was Porter. This is Weenie. Like, it's, it's unreal. I think Weenie has to be my favorite of this set just because I'm super into, like, bronzy like neutral golden looks all right this is the shade telepathy which i thought i was going to hate but you guys literally liquid gold i will probably do something really cool with that in an upcoming video and then the final color from this specific set is the shade midnight which is one that i'm i'm not gonna lie slightly afraid of and that's what that one looks like swatched I don't know what it is about ColourPop's Super Shock eyeshadows. They have got to be some of the most long-wearing eyeshadows I've ever come in contact with. I went to the zoo at 10 o'clock this morning, and I've had this eyeshadow on my eyes since then, and it hasn't budged at all. It hasn't creased. It's still just as vibrant as it was the moment I put it on. I can't say enough about these products and how much I love them. So expect a lot of tutorials about these and keep post updated on my Instagram. The next ColourPop product, I'm going to be talking about the Studio 1400 ColourPop set, which has some of my favorite eyeshadow colors that they've released in it. My first and foremost favorite being the shade White Rabbit, which is like a burnt, um, a burnt orange color. I'm going to use my right hand this time. So I'm not kidding, guys. Like, these are so insanely pigmented. I'm not going to continuously tell you that over and over again. I think you guys should go out and purchase some as well. The next shade is track 8. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. So that is what that looks like. It is like a, I call it like a golden brown. It's very, very warm and there is a lot of like gold reflect in it. And I'm thoroughly infatuated by it. And the next shade is static, which is again, Really similar to Porter, but it's a more of a muted burgundy. Or, I guess you could say it is a darker burgundy, in my opinion, than Porter. Still really, really pretty. It's a stunning, stunning color. 
these are so opaque I can't get over it and then <laughs> my actual favorite from the collection which is one that I thought that I was going to never use and I was gonna put it in a drawer and save it for like a Halloween look when I do a mermaid again like classic Kayla does every year but it is the color Donna it's a teal blue green color let me find a clean finger guys I actually recently did a look on my Instagram using Donna and it has to be I loved the look so so much that I wore it two days in a row I don't know why I just fell in love with the the shade and it's not something I would typically wear so I went a bit out of my, my comfort zone when I did that look if you want to see it you can check it out on my Instagram which I will list right here and it'll also be linked down in the description Alright guys, moving on to the final product from my mini makeup haul. It is the Box and Freezes Over Lip Set. Now these are plumping 15 piece mini lip collection from Buxom. It has uh, mini lip polishes, mini full on lip creams, and the whipped liquid lipsticks. Um, I'm not going to swatch all of these unless you guys want me to all right guys the final final product that I want to talk to you guys about is a repurchase of mine that I got on this mini haul it is the Ren Pure Sea Minerals dry shampoo in the easy breezy clean scent you guys know that I raved about this in my last video my March favorites or hits and misses is I think what I named it this stuff just smells like the beach it makes me want to be at the beach it gives me total beach vibes and it doesn't leave the white run-of-the-mill dry shampoo color in my hair, which I find that a lot of them do. So this is one that I will definitely continue to repurchase. I found mine as a beauty steal at TJ Maxx for $6.99. So if you guys have a TJ Maxx near you, I would check it out. It's typically in their beauty section. Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks for coming back to my channel and watching this. And again, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see some more from me. And keep an eye on my Instagram for updated makeup looks and potential possible future tutorials. Thanks, guys. Bye.